let me give you an example. Ideology has to really leave the building next year and in 2016, or you're going to have President Hillary Clinton. Nelson Mandela just died. Uh, I don't know whether yeah. you're aware, but 95 I years was, old. Yeah. Nelson Mandela, I, I, I spent some time in South Africa. He was a communist, this man. Yeah. He was a communist, all right? But he was a great man. What he did for his people was stunning. The sacrifices that he made. He could have repudiated it and got out of that prison. He wouldn't do it. He was a great man, but he was a communist. So, but I would never attack Nelson Mandela. I mean, I told Bishop Tutu I disagree with you and with Mr. Mandela because Tutu is that way as well, but I respect you. So why can't you guys in the Republican Party bring that to the fore? Well, Nelson Mandela stood up against a great injustice and, and was willing to pay a, a huge price for that. And that's the reason he's, he's, he's mourned today, because of that, of that struggle that he, he, he performed. But, but you're right. I mean, what he was advocating for was, was not necessarily the, the right answer, but he was fighting against some, some great injustice. And, and I would make the argument that, you know, we have a great injustice going on right now in this country with, uh, with, with an ever-increasing size of government that is taking over and controlling people's lives. And Obamacare is front and center in that. And Today's GOP is like Nelson Mandela, according to Rick Santorum. And big government is the scourge. Yes, Rick, the fact that people have Social Security and Medicare and Medicaid and roads that they could drive on is as terrible as openly racist policies and apartheid. Sometimes I think these guys don't even believe what they're saying. But it, I, I love the Obamacare comparison too. Yeah, Obamacare is like apartheid. You know, here's what today's Republican Party is fighting for to not raise the minimum wage or even abolish it, as we just spoke about earlier, uh, Representative Barton in favor of that. Uh, they're in favor of cutting taxes for the rich even more. They're in favor of starting more wars and being more imperialistic and starting a beef with Iran, even though Obama just made a peace deal. They're in favor of repealing health care reform and then doing nothing. They don't actually have a plan to replace it. And by the way, the system before, 45,000 people died every year because they don't have basic care. According to a Harvard study, uh, 48 million plus people uninsured. So in other words, every single thing that the Republican Party is fighting for is something that Nelson Mandela fought against, fought against.